Good, beautiful morning, friends of Driver's Studio. I want to thank you so much for coming out today and checking us out as we finally wrap up this awesome 55 Olds two-door post. First things first, though, I just wanted to say, please, please, please jump on over to driverstudio.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-R-S-S-T-U-D-I-O.com. The reason being, in case y'all are previous followers, this isn't your first time checking this out, you might already know that we have a plan to give away a thousand bucks. That's no joke. I ain't pulling nobody's leg here, no fooling around, no goofing, no hokey mokey up in this place. Really giving away a thousand bucks. Check out some of the previous videos and that explains why, but I'm gonna be giving away a little bit more cash. I'm gonna be giving away a hundred dollars. That's right, a hundred dollars. Check me out, here we go. Hundred dollars to the 100th post that gets posted up after this video drops on driverstudio.com. I don't care if you go up there and you throw up 100 posts yourself. If you like going online, wasting time like I do, looking at cars, if you like posting up and talking with other people on forums and groups and things like Facebook and all the other social media places, blah, 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 posting pictures about your project, posting pictures of what you got up for sale, you got questions on how to get something fixed on your ride, whatever it may be, car related, post, and add, do a little post, ask your question, do whatever you gotta do on driverstudio.com, and I'm gonna count them. The 100th post that gets done on driverstudio.com after this video drops, I'm gonna give you, I don't care if I have to hand it to you in person with a crisp $100 bill with that blue line in it, baby, or if I gotta send it to you snail mail, I will wrap up a $100 bill and I will send that to your address. I ain't, I ain't fooling around, for real. But that aside, thank you so much for checking us out today. This is the video about painting the 55 volts. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right. After six and a half months, I think, we have finally got the 55 blocked out with sanding primer. Fingers crossed that it's straight enough and flat enough, but it is finally ready to shoot the first color. The car's gonna be two-tone, black and red. We're gonna seal it up now, and then we'll take a little break, little intermission, then we're gonna load up with color, and then we'll come back. It's gonna be a late night. We're gonna hit it with a big old load of clear. We're gonna come back and shoot this car with the red, the lower, the back, the balance, everything else, because like I said, it's gonna be two tones. And you're alive. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're back. Just got done get eating some grub. We got the car and sealer. Now, this is a product that we haven't used before, and it laid down and flashed faster than anything we've ever sprayed. So, unfortunately, we're gonna go through and hit it with a tack rag 
before we go and spray some color. But it's nice and dry for our for our base coat. So hopefully everything goes well. Stay tuned, we'll see how it goes. All right, y'all, we are back in the lab, back in the studio. We are getting ready to put down this second and final color on the 55 Olds. We've been working on this for about six months now. We're right smack at the beginning of June, and today is supposed to be a hot one. I think it's supposed to be touching 90, which means in this garage it's gonna be about 290 degrees. Gotta give a big shout out to my homeboy, Tyler, my right hand man. He's not here at the moment. He's gonna be here in a couple hours as we wrap this thing up today, but just hooked me up with a brand new da, 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 I don't know what you call it the Black Widow by Spectrum professional HTE spray gun it's a 1.3 yeah it's a sweetheart yes that is a Harbor Freight gun my friends I spray all my stuff in my garage with a Harbor Freight gun you you got questions just asked you want to put on you better put up or shut up because I'm being real with you I spray all my stuff at home <laughs> in my garage I ain't gonna lie and I I just make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I blow the garage out, I get this stuff done, and uh, I don't spend a lot of money doing it because that's what we're all about. We just try to make stuff happen at home so the average person can do this kind of work at home and uh, have a respectable ride without breaking the bank. But we're gonna hop right into this and get this second color shot, and I hope y'all have enjoyed the vid thus far. Here we go. All right, now I'm not gonna say this is a pro tip, just a little word of wise wisdom, I guess you could say. Now, like I said, this is a brand new gun. Just picked this up yesterday from Harbor Freight. I think with the coupon in the mail and with a uh, inside track membership discount, blah, 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 with the two year extended warranty on this thing, I think we're out the door for 280 bucks. You can say what you wanna say about a Harbor Freight gun, but I'm pretty sure any entry level high end spray HVLP uh, gravity feed gun, you're going to be dropping at least four or 500 bucks. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's just where you're at on that kind of stuff. Um, I spray Iwatas most of the time and Sadus, and uh, I have no complaints with this. Um, anyways, this gun right here, when you get your new gun, what you want to do is blow it all apart and you want to take all the parts, throw them into a cup full of lacquer thinner so you can get off all the gun lube that this thing has been assembled with, all the assembly lube, all that nonsense. Now, one of the other things that I noticed on the Black Widow, this blue thing right here, this is a water trap. You gotta have one of these 
because especially on hot days, you're gonna be building up moisture in your lines. You wanna catch any and all water droplets that you can before it hits the surface of the car so you don't have a fish eye. All right, now what I noticed on this right here, that little fitting that goes into the bottom of the gun, the factory, uh, factory fitting right there, it's a two-piece fitting that swivels. That's what came with this gun. I had to pull that off of there and swap this fitting on with my water trap because that swivel leaks air. I don't know how you could solve that issue because you can't put any kind of thread tape in between there. That swivel piece, it just leaks. So I took it out, put that on there, took everything apart, threw it in a couple lacquer thinner so that way I don't have any gun lube or assembly oil on the gun inside, mixing with my primer when it's coming through before it hits the surface. So take that into consideration. Brand new gun, wish me luck, here we go. Alright everybody, we are back out here. As you can see behind me, she's unmasked. Let's do a quick little walk around. Let's recap. Here we go. Try to get this shot before this camera goes dead. Alright, so as y'all know, it's been like a six and a half month ordeal on this car. I think we started January 7th is what I have for a picture uh, when we first brought this home, took it off the trailer and started ripping it apart. And yeah, once again, this car is a kind of a family heirloom car. Sat in a barn for 30 some years. Make sure to uh, check out some of the previous videos of this thing. And you will see, yes, we actually drug this car out of the barn, getting this car done. Going to have it done by the end of next month for kind of a 50th. Wedding anniversary, high score union kind of deal. And 
yeah, I think uh, I think Uncle Joe is going to be real happy with it. Yeah, there it is. Black and red, base clear, shot right at home in the garage with Harbor Freight guns and Napa materials. But we're done. That's it. We're wrapping this up. I appreciate y'all checking us out. Make sure to subscribe below. And of course, shoot on over to driverstudio.com, D-R-I-V-E-R-S-S-T-U-D-I-O.com. And like I said at the beginning of this video, yeah, I know I'm wearing my super loud Route 66 shirt. Check me out. Hey. Anyways, 100th post after this video drops, giving you a hundred bucks. I don't care. Go do a hundred posts on there with some cool stuff about your car. Tell us a story, the project you're working on, whatever it may be. Make a hundred posts. You got it. I'm going to give somebody a hundred bucks. It's that simple. I, there's no fool in here. Hundred bucks is going to somebody. We appreciate all the love and support. Please continue to check us out. We're going to have more stuff coming soon because as soon as this goes bye-bye, the 60 Impala is coming back into the booth, redoing the whole thing, mural on the trunk, crazy patterns, the whole nine kit and caboodle. It's going to be fantastic. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. That's it. Driver Studio, out.